Hi, in this tutorial we are going to solve a question related to alpha substitution reactions of carbonyl compounds. Let's look at the question. Predict the product or products of the following reactions. We have a variety of reactions and we are going to predict the products for each reaction. Let's start with the first reaction. The first reaction we have here a ketone and the reagents are Br2 and acetic acid. So if we guess the reaction, this is alpha halogenation of ketone. So what's going to happen? We are going to substitute an alpha proton from ketone with Br or bromine. So let's look at the alpha positions. We have uh, two alpha positions, one here and the other one is here and the second position here we don't have any hydrogens we have three methyl groups so here in the second or let's say this is the first uh, uh, alpha position we have two acidic hydrogens and potentially we can we can have substitution product in this location. So, as you remember, when we have a halogen and an acid catalyzed, what happens? We form an enol intermediate, then that enol in, uh, intermediate react with Br2 and we will have a substitution product at alpha position. So, let's write the product for this reaction. We are going to have the ketone and alpha position will be brominated and the rest of the molecule will be the same. So this is the product for the first reaction. Let's look at the second reaction. In the second reaction we have an ester and here we have LDA, lithium, the isopropyl amide. Then in the second step of the reaction we have an alkyl halide. Here we have a good leaving group, bromide anion. Let's look at, in the first step, we are going to generate enolate ion because LDA is a very strong and bulky ba base. So what's going to happen? It's going to deprotonate the alpha position and we are going to form an enolate, enolate anion. It will be a good nucleophile. Then this enolate ion is going to react with alkyl halide in an SN2 reaction and we are going to alkylate the alpha position. So this is the alpha position. We are going to alkylate with this specific alkyl, ethyl basically. So let's write the uh, alpha substitution reaction here. Again, we will have ester and alpha position will have ethyl substitution. Okay, that's the reaction or that's the product for the for this reaction. Let's look at the next question, next option. In the next option we have a carboxylic acid and the reagents in the first step Br2, PBr3, then we have water. You remember when we have carboxylic acids, uh, alpha substitution reactions are very slow. But when you use with carboxylic acid PBr3, this is a bromination reagent or a halogenating reagent. So we are going to obtain a, a bromo acid. A bromo acid. And bromo acid will generate here an alpha substitution product. Then in the second step, if we add water, the uh, acid bromide will hydrolyze back to carboxylic acid. But we will still keep a bromine at the alpha position. So let's write the product. The product will be the same carboxylic acid, but at the alpha position we will have a bromine substitution. Okay, let's move down. Uh, we have a couple more, couple more reactions. Okay, we have two more reactions. Let's look at these reactions. This reaction here, we have a malonic ester. And you remember malonic esters are diesters. So uh, when you use a mild base with respect to LDA, so et, uh, etyl eto, et, uh, etoxide, etoxide is a weaker base than LDA. But since we have uh, an alpha position flanked by two carbonyl groups so the po 
alpha protons are acidic enough to be uh, to generate enolate ions with ethoxide. Then what's going to happen? This alpha position. Let's write that alpha position. The one that are we are saying. Okay. Here, this alpha position, we have two hydrogens. They are acidic. Let's label this as alpha position. So what's going to happen in the first step? Let's write the first step. We are going to alkylate alpha position with this uh, alkyl group. So because we are going to form an enolate ion, then enolate ion will react with this uh, alkyl chloride in an SN2 reaction, then we are going to alkylate this position. So that's going to write ethyl ester, this part, again this part also ethyl ester. So there will be here this alkyl group, which we have two carbons. So then what happens when we heat in the presence of acid? we will have a de decarboxylation decarboxylation reactions we are going to we are going to uh, first hydrolyze the esters into carboxylic acids then one of the carboxylate group will be lost as carbon dioxide then we are going to end up with a carboxylic acid with this alkyl group so the product will be so um, we are, let's say that we are going to lose this fragment through the decarboxylation and hydrolysis of esters. So this part is going to be carboxylic acid. So let's write here this part. Then here we are going to have the alpha carbon. This carbon we will still have. Then the ethyl that we introduced. But this fragment it will be lost so this is going to be the carboxylic acid that we are going to uh, generate of course there is going to be a carbon dioxide plus ethanol because here uh, the esters are hydrolyzing so this is the product for this reaction let's look at the next uh, reaction next reaction you may recognize the structure this is acete acetoacetic ester acetoacetate ester uh, synthesis basically the same uh, the same situation we have here an alpha position flanked by two carbonyls so these protons are acidic enough uh, we when we use uh, ethoxide or sodium ethoxide we are going to generate here an enolate ion let's write here an enolate ion then what's going to happen enolate ion is going to react with this alkyl halide ethyl chloride then we are going to add here or we are going to uh, we are going to substitute one hydrogen with ethyl group so we are alkylating this uh, alpha position then again we have acidic conditions heat so we will do a carboxylation uh, reaction then we will end up with uh, we will end up with uh, with again a carboxylic acid with uh, with uh, sorry not carboxylic acid, a ketone, a ketone with alkylation. So let's write the first product. Let's just separate this part. So the first product we are going to have is this ethyl ester. This part will be the same. Carbonyl, we are going to introduce an ethyl group here, here the ketone. So what's going to happen when we uh, react with acid, acid aqueous acid and heat so what's going to happen this part will hydrolyze we are going to generate here a carboxylic acid and we are going to lose a carboxylic acid fragment as a as carbon dioxide plus uh, ethanol uh, before for that then we will synthesize a ketone with the alkyl substitution or with the alkyl added fragment here so let's write the, the product here so the, the ketone will be same. So let's write the ketone. But we are going to keep this ethyl part. I'm going to use again the same way. But we lost this part as carbon dioxide. So 
Uh, as a result, uh, if you use acetoacetate ester synthesis, you end up with a ketone having this alkyl. The alpha substitution product uh, is introducing an alkyl group here, but uh, as a result of decarboxylation and uh, before decarboxylation uh, ester uh, hydrolysis, we are going to end up with a ketone having two more carbon. And in the previous case, this was a malonic ester synthesis reaction. First, we generate uh, a, an enolate ion, then we alkylate, then esters will hydrolyze, and one uh, part of carboxylic acid will be lost as, as a carbon dioxide, and we are going to end up with a carboxylic acid with, with two more carbon. Uh, Basically, we, uh, we, uh, we cover all the reactions in the question. Thank you so much for watching.